Meanwhile, we do have Partisans in the back, which is kind of curious. Yeah, Milan just lying in wait. He's getting a Shrek team on standby, which could be very good to neutralize the Stukas. Hello everyone, this is Grayshaw17, and today I'm doing a Company for Heroes 2 replay submitted by a patron. This is a 4K replay, which is specialized for awesome patrons of a top tier quality, uh, such as RNG Gods and B4chan supporters. Now, I should probably get into this 4v4 on the end forest that has, oh Jesus Christ, these names. Chaos Lord Solus, Vorcat, Black Magic, and S, versing Rifle Malam. I have daddy problems with, I'll, I'll just say daddy, and Kumturian, which I'll say Turian, uh, Chaos Lord Solus, I'll just say Chaos, and uh, yeah, the rest are, are fine. Anyway, we got three Soviet and one American pushing left, with uh, two OKW and two Austere kind of going in their own separate ways. Looks like a good mix, actually. I really do like when the Germans do get some variety in their offensive capabilities. Again, they're spread out. They're... It's a lot better for them, I should say. Now, uh, again, we have right now S pushing left. He's gone Ponzo Fusiliers with Grand Offensive. And that's fine. We'll see how that goes early on. But again, versing Americans, I think the Americans have the edge. It really just matters on how they fight. Will the American be able to uh, hold off long enough to regroup with his rifleman in advance? That's going to be the big thing. And will he get support? Um, looks like Daddy is providing some support. Um, surprised. Uh, usually when I see, uh, you know, uh, this type of player kind of move on in, they say, yes, I'm going to help you, and then go off for cigarettes and never return. But it looks like this Daddy is actually staying around to help out uh, their American dad, their, 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 their American comrades in arms. Anyway, Engineer, though, having a rough time with Stern Pioneers pushing in mid, and also we have Grenadiers from Black Magic. The question is, though, is if they're there, what's in the forest? And right now we only have a Kubel in forest, which, with the Soviets, and especially in the scout car, they should handle just fine. And now we have uh, Grenadiers, and the Grenadiers are just, I guess, trying to put down a bunker, reinforce, and wait for backup and that kind of made that look that makes sense because you're dealing with a 2v1 scenario you don't want to be in an engagement you can't win uh soviets pushing on in they went with a scout car so they could have had penals but instead went conscripts interesting choice and looks like malam is doubling down with conscripts um now with this defensive tactic grandiers and pioneers push back the conscript again you could say well gray shot he's you know he's fighting two players is just hopeless and no with his three grenadiers and pioneers he's holding the line pretty well again get in the bunker for additional defense um if they can keep holding that's great kubel uh, support's not coming scout car should be able to kill that with ease uh again we look on the overall tactical menu we can see most of the forces not coming to the support so Right now, looks like Conscript's retreating, Grandier's retreating. He's still hiding in there. Engineer's on standby. Not sure what they're doing. Uh, MG's opening fire, doing a little bit of damage to the bunker. Conscript's as well, trying to put some pressure. In mid, it looks like easily Daddy is holding that position. Um, again, more bunkers being placed. A lot of MG's. Black Magic going the slow and steady approach, which can be risky because, again... The time it could take the weight and build up that force, the enemy could entrench, which it looks like is going to be done with the Maxim, the Demo, everything else. Uh, meanwhile, American forces have the city and lock an area down. Engineers moving on in. Uh, is he placing a Demo? Yeah, probably not the smartest idea. And he gets picked off. Wonderful idea. Just top tier. Top tier. The scout car now there as well. We could see a double Faust. Or maybe just one foul since some Grandier's opening fire. Maltov misses the target. Scout car is still under fire. Gets killed. And unfortunately, there goes that unit. Um, again, Maxim now being suppressed by the MG. Uh, Maltov? It can't be thrown because he already threw one. So he has to wait. Grandier's in the meantime can help pick off shots. And by the way, that Grandier squad, even though they lost the Pioneers, I'll give credit where credit's due on that. Um... They're still holding with six kills in veterancy. He should probably retreat a lot sooner than this, but uh, he's going to stick it out in there. Again, he's going to throw a Molotov, gets a model, and he might get another one on the retreat. 
Uh, let's see. He does, which is two losses. Now, to be fair, the, the Chaos did kill two units in the forest. But again, it's not that great if, well, you uh, lost uh, units of equal value. And as much as I have to say it, you lost a bit more with the Grandier and Pioneer being 440 compared to a Scout Car and a engineer i believe and that is at 360. now you can add in a little bit of fuel for the scout car but i don't i still think that's the german loss more so it's it's still bad for both players to lose that those resources anyway uh looks like again we have soviets really locking this area down we have a small counterattack, but i don't think it's going to be that much um the luhafa field officer it's fine but i don't think it's going to hold back four conscripts uh meanwhile stern pioneers Pretty much locking down this area. There are some German mines as well, which will make it more difficult to capture. Again, Grandier is pulling back. Soviets as well, kind of keeping that area locked down. But Stern Pioneer is moving in to counter. Um, he's just chilling over there. Uh, American forces pushed on in. Looks like had a small spat with some Germans and then pull, uh, fell back once they fell back. Um, overall, resource-wise, we're looking at uh, Germans having more fuel and actually more munitions, which I wouldn't think of uh in this actually current scenario but again got to give it up to vorkat for grabbing that really important territory and giving them that lead uh, we'll see how long they hold that but still uh stern pioneers way overextending again nice idea and kubel's coming into support but it's just yeah it's it's there's so much infantry stern pioneers immediately get annihilated and a t grenade being fired because of the, the riflemen now have it at bed one so all these forces are just incredibly annoying uh, to deal with if you're just charging in with two units and by incredibly annoying I mean really easy to deal with because you just avoid them it, you should not be in that engagement in the first place uh, Grand Ears Pioneers although Grand Ears got given up 11 kills only been about seven minutes so they've done a lot of work Minesweavers clearing up the German mines place so again good job there with rifle again he has enough firepower he should be able to hold back these men unless they get a lucky rifle grenade already 13 kills Nothing to sneeze at, but again, the conscripts, uh, we'll see if he's able to get them. I don't know. I uh, Yep, not seeing it. He's going to pull back. This area is now cut off, so with that, resource-wise, switches over, most likely to a allied uh, pretty much increase. And yeah, they're going to have a lot more, especially with VPs. The allies have a solid lead with about 150 already. Again, that's what you get for having three victory points so early on. Uh, the Germans will need to change up their strategy. This is post-patch, mind you. Um, so again, the, that's why you saw the Luftwaffe field officer and other things. But uh, right now, we got ourselves Partisans with Malam. Again, he has uh, Partisans deployable through the Partisan Doctrine, which no longer has two. It just has one Partisan. But you can upgrade them with a PPSH or a Shrek, which I find very interesting indeed. And again, I think this is a better idea, because this way you have... Partisans at a, you know, essentially you, you outfit them with what you want. We have a half track here deployed via rifle company, and then also we have Lin Lee's, uh, which also has this cool little supply truck, which you can set down if you want. I actually think he got that right. Yeah, you can get that down and get additional resources, which is I think is really cool. Um, rifle is yet to pick anything, and then we have Chaos with the Luftwaffe supply, uh, Grand Offensive with Punzus. Fossiliers and strategic reserve, which he has deployed assault grenadiers. Very interesting. He waited so long to deploy them because I swear the grenadiers have been in fights. They have, and this guy's not. So he deployed them later. Interesting. We do also have assault guards, which have the Thompsons. These don't have uh, the uh, bazooka teams, which they can be upgraded with. Um, so they're just base Thompson, which is fine. Uh, we'll see how well the Punts Fossiliers do against the half track. Note this half track only has one unit that's revealed, although there's two inside. So, again, this may be a situation where uh, they knock over a pole. No, this may be a situation where he pops one unit out and then keeps the other in to support. Also, it's healing inside, which is interesting. We have a 222 diving on in, which is curious to see as to why he's doing it. Uh, there's not really, unless he's just trying to get some easy kills, which he should be able to retreat. Stuka's coming on in. Rockets coming down right now. Getting a good, actually, area of effect. Unfortunately, 
222 still dies due to a bad charge into conscripts, but he did get a number of good units with that Stuka, so excellent work there. Stuka, mind you, eight kills with that barrage. Uh, partisans are now in the half track as well, so it looks like the allies really like the half track. Um, again, we'll have to see how that fares. Uh, I'm actually kind of curious to see how the Parsons do inside of a vehicle. Uh, I'm assuming they'll have some uh, potent abilities because they're inside the uh, inside the half track. Though I have to double check to see. I know they messed around with the half track. I'm unsure how much they altered it in terms of infantry firing from it. Captain Rifleman uh, trying to deal with some of the Germans. Again, they won't be able to last for long, but they can delay them for a little bit of time. Very curious to see why Turing is not grabbing the resources. Maybe he's just focusing on other fronts. Um, unsure. Right now, we have Grenadiers trying to get the unit on retreat. A good rifle grenade could do exactly that. He's not going to fire it, though. Um, again, they're kind of too spread out for that to be effective. But it's a decent idea if they were to try to do something like that. Uh, Germans really trying to go into the forest. Lufafa, by the way, has seven kills. Solid work. Unfortunately, no minesweepers. And the mines are hurting him quite a bit. Grenadiers trying to pick off some of the conscripts. Again, which are slowly moving on in. But Malam uh, has a little bit of a support coming in from Daddy. Uh, again, surprising. Daddy throwing a bunch of grenades and they managed to push back the Grenadiers. Again, the other forces are going to have a rough time with Thompsons and probably be easily defeated. Pan's Grenadiers will be the closest thing you have to fighting, but I just don't... Yeah, he's busy capturing the point, so he's not going to change anything. Ufafa, uh officer does manage to get out. Meanwhile, there's a fight going on in the city with a flamethrower unit in the half-track, interesting enough. Looks like it did get hit by something, I'm assuming AT fire, and pushed back. Again, surprised he's not grabbing territory. A little unsure why that is. Half-track moving. Wait a second. Oh, uh, yep, there it goes. Half-track immediately gets stopped by AT fire. Again, not sure what their plan was there. And they might end up... Never mind. I was going to say giving it to the Germans, which... I don't know. As the Germans, I would be like, Oh, free half-track. That sounds good. But no, they, they didn't want to take it. Oh, but... Or give the OKW resources. That's fine. Um, but now double VPs are going to the Axis, which will help them stop the hemorrhaging because they're 250. Double Stukas as well. Barrage coming in. This would be a great place to hit. Does miss. They good dodge by these guys. And overall, it looks okay. Um, I would say they're spamming half tracks, but again, this is a supply truck, so that's not entirely the case. Suka once again misses. Again, unfortunate um, that it was such a miss, but they did get a model here or there, so they got something from it. Meanwhile, we do have partisans in the back, which is kind of curious. Yeah, Milan just lying in wait. He's getting a Shrek team on standby, which could be very good to neutralize the Stukas. Um, again, lying in ambush and waiting could be super, super important in order to uh, neutralize some really expensive units with some really cheap units overall. Again, partisans are only 210. Combine that with 60 munitions for the upgrade and overall nothing uh, too extreme in terms of like getting resources. Shrek was discarded, which makes me think that uh, a certain player may have lost it in a fight or something happened not entirely sure hold on did they get Shrek? oh they get the panzer Shrek. maybe he lost the other partisan group um and they lost their panzer Shrek. either or could be a possibility here uh let's see yeah so i'm not seeing upgrades here and it's weird that he would lose two shreks oh my god sherman really bad play by daddy not entirely sure what was happening luckily good smoke mages to uh, possibly save the Sherman. M4C trying to make it out of there, but again, could be Fausted again. Unfortunately, though, Black Magic only has resources for one Faust. May not be enough. Smoke coming down, I think, in this sector, maybe allowing them to push. Uh, Shrek team does manage to kill a Stuka. Great job. And we have another Stuka actually firing. Again, gets a good area of effect for some of the Allied infantry, but you have the Partisans coming in. And again, they're holding fire really smart, so that way the Shrek team doesn't hit anything else. Stuka very low. Might be able to throw an AT grenade very soon. Might come on with the last ditch in effort. Can he do it? Nope, he dies. Stuka is able to live, barely. Good job with the Ponce Fossilers and coverage. But he did get one. He did kill one Stuka. So great job there with killing the unit. Meanwhile, we have more of these sweepers um 
not a sweeper, sorry, rear salons with the flamethrower. Again, getting at, oh, the stern pioneers said sweepers, my bad. Burning away the infantry, AT moving on in, but he's trying to dodge it. Uh, Turian though, unfortunately, not really any other infantry support, so he really has to worry about his micro here in order to dodge all this AT. Looks like he will. Again, uh, probably should separate these, or maybe get in the, oh, maybe, uh, he has a flamethrower, but a building could be really good for just air of effect and watching. AT grenade gets him, it's over, and the AT gun will finish off the half track, or the files, whatever works. Meanwhile, some uh, units spread out. Do manage to actually kill one of the Zisk guns, so that's a positive. 17 kills, so these things have done some damage. And he's going to pull back. Meanwhile, on the right, actually... Oh, don't tell me. He lost that unit, didn't he? Oh, I think he lost the Maxim. That's unfortunate. Pan's Grand as well, pulling on back after seeing the T-34. Lots of units all grouped up right now. Again, I'm surprised we haven't seen more Partisans trying to hide it out. Uh, half track, really bad positioning right there. Again, AT grenade and Trek immediately dead. Suka comes in, misses the mark again. You need recon to really hit those targets to kind of get an idea of where they are. Um, meanwhile, on the right, we have a big chase T 34. Again, uh, like, luck, Rifle may have lost a number of his units uh, fighting in the forest, but this guy really doesn't have AT. He's doing it as a calculated risk to get a Panther. Which, again, in this situation, the risk is not paying off because the T-34 is just blasting everything in the base and none of his units have fouls. So he can literally just run rampant and there's nothing that will happen. Luckily, the Flax are well open fire and neutralize it. T-34 gets another Stuka with a dive. Might get two Stukas. Gets two Stukas. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Can, can you guys keep your Stukas alive for, like, a minute? Please? Oh, no. God, they were going to go artillery spam. Think about it. We've seen three Stukas die already. We're going to go four. Are we really going to get a fourth Stuka? He might get... Again, good smart positioning. Again, trying to use the building to make sure he doesn't get shot at. Panther is going to kill that T-34. Stuka... Oh my god, I love this Stuka. Just playing games. He's like, T-34 can't shoot me. Oh, nope. Malam is one step ahead. Takes a shot. Kills it. Again, should have probably left this way instead of backing up. Anyway, uh, we did get a ram action, but a uh, rifle is going to lose that T-34. He's getting a lot of resources, though, from the supply coming on in. And it looks like the same thing is happening with Daddy. Again, both of them have the ability to deploy these trucks, which only 200 resources. And they can get a lot of resources coming in for that player. So 44 fuel and 67 munitions. Um, yeah, that's, that's, an, that's a lot of resources. Good AT fire. Oswin not paying attention. Shrek team's going to open fire. And uh, AT grenade will decrew the unit. Now, he can recruit with the assault grenadiers if he wants to. Um, again, still a risk. But uh, Sherman will kill it. So, no recruiting that. Again, you have units here. They're on the... Wait, are they on the point? His foot is on the point. So, I don't know if that's a glitch or something. Um, or Turian is trying to extend this game. Um, I'm guessing he's trying to extend this game, just the amount of times he's been there. Uh, as to why, I'm not sure, because again, the longer you keep an opponent in a match, the worse it can get for them. Or for, for you versing it. Uh, double Rakan Murphers opening fire. Sherman does get out. Are we literally getting more Stukas? Okay, if you're getting more Stukas, you need more mines, more defenses, stuff like that, in order to hold the territory. Um... They, they, they need that. They absolutely need that. Now, anyway, forces coming on in. Partisans immediately retreating. T-34 backing them up. But Panther's right there. Um, they got an S-25 now coming on in. Panther's going to have a rough time. Hopefully, they can kill the Zisk gun. Or maybe these guys can recruit the Zisk gun. That could be very good. Panther taking shots, but bouncing a lot of them. Uh, I don't know. Oh, hold on. M Easy 8 now coming on in. Again, no Shrek team. Nice ram. Panther's in a bit of a pickle. Uh, we have uh, White Foster's coming in to deal with the infantry, although not sure. Panther needs to keep backing up. I'm, there's like four guys here. All the allies are coming together with different tanks. And the Panther needed to retreat a lot sooner. I'm not sure what he was doing there. But yeah, he needed to retreat a lot sooner. Now you have like every allied vehicle now charging after these poor guys. Unfortunate. Again, capture the territory. Come on. Sure. They're actually losing territory right now. 
um, because they're not decapping it. Which you may be thinking, oh, this is just funny, and it's like, okay, uh, you can keep joking, but if they do come back, you guys are going to seem like the biggest idiots. Now, um, M4C Sherman is just going to, uh, oh my god, it's just hitting a lot of infantry. There goes the bunker. We have an MG being set up. Okay, smoke drop to prevent additional shots being rung. Um, you have some units over here. Assault grenade here is not going to do much. I'm not sure why he's there. Some infantry as well, which AT grenade. Double Rakadmorpher going to kill that Sherman unless he's lucky with the smoke. AT grenade's hitting him. Direct fire is a good option right now. You can easily fire and probably get one, maybe two hits if you're lucky. T-34 coming on in, but again, I would just kill one. Don't try to kill the T-34. AT grenades will hit it, though. Oh, nice. Actually, attempt to run him over. Um, Sherman is escaping. Kedusha fire hitting. And yeah, that, that, was, that was a completely botched effort. They probably could have killed that Sherman and ran, but no. T-34 almost gets the Sturm. The Sturm Pioneer is able to retreat. Panzer IV is on the field. And I'm, I'm seeing right now is, is a bunch of people playing with their prey. That's what I'm seeing right now is just a lot of allies thinking, oh, these Germans are bad. We can easily mess with them, which is unfortunate because, yeah, there's a lot of AT right now. And that Sherman might die from the amount of AT fire. White Phosphorus coming on in. Very lucky that a lot of the shots missed or deflected. White Phosphorus coming down the infantry. And, yeah, they're just unfortunately burning alive. Katusha now coming on in. They're very weakened, so Katusha will do more damage. Looks like White Phosphorus actually did hit some of the AT guns, weirdly enough. Um, they can reinforce, though, from the medical site. Suka turning fire. Is he going to hit the Katusha? Katusha's gone. So, unfortunately, he's be quicker on the draw with that one. Second Katusha on the field. Uh, looks like its volley completely missed target. Meanwhile, again, you have this player, which needs AT. What is their overall rank, I might ask? I didn't check that. Okay, Black Magic's new, so I kind of suspect him, but everyone else has sh or should know what's going on. So, again, kind of a lot of AT. Oh my god, there's four AT guns. Alright, you're fighting in mid. I have no idea why this Black Magic, again, quick tip. Uh, if you're going to be fighting an M4C Sherman or dish or armor in general, make sure you have tree support because I don't see anything here. Grenades being uh, thrown, but misses the hat track entirely. Luckily, they just shoot it to death. And Black Magic has lost pretty much everything. Pretty much everything. Meanwhile, uh, T-34 opening fire in the base. Pack gun repositioning. Right now, again... <sighs> you can only... Yeah, I mean, the Axis managed to knock out of 100 victory points from the Allies. Nothing too major, but still, I'm actually surprised this guy hasn't gotten additional, like, Faust or AT guns or other things like that. He could get another Panther, but again, it's be very cautious with how he approaches it. Make sure his infantry are there to support. So many AT guns. My god. But hey, if, if they charge in like crazy, which is a possibility... That uh, yeah, that could be that could be insta kill for a lot of these the piece of armor. Is there Stuka firing? I thought I heard a Stuka. Oh, it's a direct strike. Uh, did he kill a Katusha? Oh, he did. He uh, did he kill both of them? There's two Drecks here. I think he might have. Oh my God! If he killed two Katushas. That's actually, I think he did. That's really good for a direct strike. And yeah, now we're going to see a lot of, um, how do I put this? A lot of uh, uh, revenge play, I assume, with the Sherman's charging on in. Maybe? Uh, either that or maybe all the pack guns come in and just start wrecking house against the allied armor. Again, there's a lot of ET here. If micro correctly, they could do a number on allied armored units. This is also where that, look, forces completely under allied control i admit that you're gonna just need to lock down these the couple choke points and hold the line shermans are just having a field day but here come the at guns setting up smoke's being dropped right on the at gun so you can have a hard time shooting katusha's coming on the grand ears looks like they still get a shot but miss 
again. Why are you master... Oh, is he master retreating? No, he just fell back. Okay. Smoke being dropped. Again, that's from the Axis. Now we have fire and additional explosives coming down, killing an AT gun. So that's uh, pretty good. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. They they, they killed that AT gun. It's it, it's it's dead. It's dead. Uh, meanwhile, they have a stew on left. Again, we have guys just chilling. Additional contusions being made. Again, good job on the Axis for neutralizing them. Unfortunately, you still miss the assault guards, which are solid, and they're murdering everything in their way. Dear Lord, they are. 26 kills. Nothing to sneeze at. Anyway, there's a demo being played. Why? Again, why? Just, just why? Yep, uh, there goes Malam's men. Allied forces in mid. <laughs> Trying, uh, again, white phosphorus, but he's just gonna back up, and with the medical there, he'll just heal. So again, good, good use there. Uh, Petusha as well missing. Hopefully they keep pulling back just in case the spare rocket goes a little high, but I think they'll be fine. Stu dives. A lot of AT guns moving on in. If they can hit all those shots, they'll probably kill the Sherman. Come on, volley. Come on. There we go. Great shot. Finally knocking out some of uh, Turian's forces. Again, you have the AT guns pulling back pants before guarding it. Could get a good shot right there. They're all grouped up together. Actually, that was a solid shot and good support gun. Almost kills it. Um, caches are being down. Again, the axes are down. And to be fair, I think Lord uh, Solus is the weakest link here. Uh, but he's at least defending his base. And I think placing mines or something would be a good idea. Um, to make sure that if they charge, it immediately dies. At least in my opinion, that's what I would do. Uh, we have the half-track diving on in. Uh, we'll see how the effective this is. Again, kind of curious. Faust could be done. Yep. Immediately stops his half-track and his tracks. Damage engine, it's not going anywhere. And this big charge that they're playing on doing is just not going to work. Again, so many pack guns. Um, if the armor, uh, but it looks like we also have repair stations going down to heal the allied armor. So if they, if they don't die, they'll be almost immediately uh, replenished very quickly. Uh, we have a bunch of grenadiers and, oh, sorry. Uh, pa yeah, pans grenadiers and MGs and everything moving on in. Clearing the demo very easily. Recons overhead, but I don't see any other demos from rifles perspective. And if so, they're clearing it. Right now, axes are down nearly four to one. Can they still come back? Yes. Is it unlikely? Yes. But if there's ever going to be a meme situation, I feel like this would be it of the allies thinking we can easily defeat them and th they throw all their armor away. I could I could see something along those lines. Katusha is moving on in from Malam. Again, he could use spy network to detect where the enemy is and then launch a barrage to kill them all. So again, this could be very good. Recon's going overhead. We also have German planes all, uh, over the field of battle. Dropping fire down in mid. Not entirely sure why. Um, left hand side Panzer IV pushes back the rifleman, almost killing them with some great shots. Um, they do need to capture the territory. He doesn't have a huge front line. He's using, again, he has a lot of infantry. That's a lot of manpower usage. We'll see how effective that is. Meanwhile, we have a, a small push from infantry. All the Katushas are right there. So Malam could launch a major Katusha strike at the enemy. Again, I don't think that's a great use of it. Um, I, but uh, if he can wipe all the infantry, who knows? Uh, Panther, I think, is next that should be made in order to have some armor support. Um, also, oh, oh, if you only knew how close he was to actually hitting the Stukas. Oh, there's more Stukas. There's actually four. Stuka bombs coming on in, cleaning a lot of the infantry. Um, some of the infantry from Chaos dies, but that doesn't make up for the infantry he just lost. Um, MG's dead. Yep. So, yeah, this... They're playing this like a meme game for the amount of Katushas. But, again, if we look at other, uh, theaters going on. Uh, White Foster's pushed back some of the AT, not all of it. Actually, Chaos, that's quite common to double in the forest. Sherman tried diving. Looks like he died. Katushas, though, helped kill a lot of the pack guns. Though they could be easily recruited. Vork has plenty of manpower he could do that with. Just, you need to make sure the enemy doesn't, you know, um, 
how do I put this nicely? Uh, keep firing? Uh, but let's see. Yeah, he's gonna pull back, it looks like. I would get armor if I was him. Yeah, although it looks like he's getting supplies, which is fine. I mean, get NG in another pack. I guess he might just play defense um, while his allies try to fight mid. Or go for mid, I should say. Um, we have three pack guns here, I'm just saying. Um, and right now, they still have a ton of armor. Now, the Katushas are a problem. Uh, how would you deal with them? You don't really have a direct strike option or a strafe run. Uh, they can easily call in without Vorkat being used. And Vorkat has already been using those strikes against it. So it's like, he if he's the only one, then I, I, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, yeah, he can do it, and that's fine. But if you're trying to kill all the Katushas, you probably need two. Uh, even a strafe or something. Uh, so MG goes for mid. Um, not really much there at the time being. Pack guns kind of coming in, kind of just guarding a lot of territory. Rakanmafer would be better there. Um, infantry swarming on in. Again, those assault grand uh, sorry, assault guards need to worry about. We have three Katushas. So we're seeing a bit of a Katusha spam right now. Four Katushas on the field of battle uh, from Alam. A uh, rifle has one Katusha. A lot of supply trucks down. Um, unfortunately, Rifle doesn't really have anywhere to spend them, so he just has a thousand manpower. But we literally have six Katushas just prepped and ready, seven Katushas prepped and ready to go. They're all firing. Oh my god, they're all combined, aren't they? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so glad I have the different perspective. <laughs> There's so many Katushas, they're actually killing the Oswind. They're actually hurting the Oswind significantly. And help kill some of the support equipment that, that, that died. Meanwhile, armor charge coming on in. Armor's dying, and infantry's charging on in. There's enough Shrek fire that the M4C Sherman is probably gonna die. Um, uh, hopefully they spread, never, well, yep, yeah, there it goes. Jackson moving on in against the Panther. Again, we have a uh, Stuka Bomb close air support coming on in. Maybe they killed the, the, the Sherman at the very least. Um, it's damaged. Bomber's gonna come on in. Stuka comes on and kills the ambulance. And yeah, Sherman dies. So there we go. Uh, scout car is, oh sorry, half track trying to kill the infantry. But again, AT fire kills it. And allies losing a huge chunk of men. <laughs> um, all their Katushas are now back at base, but they can't fight on the front. Um, Axis advancing. Uh, Jackson actually uh, possibly on death's door right now. Very lucky he pulled back because the Rakan probably would have killed it. Po again, the Germans aren't like in it that bad of a state. I mean, like, yes, they lost a lot of stuff, sure. But to be fair, they can recruit some of the uh, support equipment. Suka gonna kill this? That would be really good if they killed it. Um, Suka under ha fire, but mansions get out even under Shrek fire. And right now, they're guarding a lot of the VPs. Um, so overall, yeah, population-wise, it's still not great for the Axis. They're, like, in the low 50s. Allies are in the probably mid-70s. But I'm expecting it to be way worse. For how much the Allies are memeing, they must think that they have complete control, which is close to what's happening, but not quite. Not quite. Again, we'll have to see how they keep doing. Again, Katushas are firing again. And oh my god, they have more. Well, I'm just gonna pull out and watch the explosions. Now, if they wipe a bunch of units, this could be quite perfect. I see almost a dot and dying. I'm seeing Rakanwerfers falling back and Panzer Grandiers being smashed. Some of the Rakanwerfers did die. More rocket fire coming on in. Um, again, just a lot of shots ringing across the board. And they're getting a good chunk of kills. I know in a recent 4K video I complained about, like, I mentioned, like, enough with the Calliopes. No, stop with the, the Katushas. My lord. How many Katushas? Alright, anyway, Assault Guard's moving on in against the MG. Probably will kill it. It's so low. Yep, there go grenades. Werfer fires. Not able to get the kill. Unfortunate. Uh, allies pushing on left. They're actually grabbing the territory. Again, MG 
not a great state. Uh, he's not able to hit the Rashlons. Shrek team by itself. Enough armor in the KV2. They should be able to clear that unit. Um, again, really right now, it's for Tadworkers, but it looks like he lost two of them. He's going to need to recruit some of them, which might pull away his Ponzi Fusilier. Might be dropping smoke with the captain or opening fire. I'm unsure what exactly is going on right there. Uh, infantry is coming. Oh, there's smoke. Again, axes are grouped up. If Again, if I was the axis, what would I do? Well, you have smoke, so you have the recon ability, and you have direct strike. So when they come in, they seem to be grouping up in mass. That's when I would do a direct strike is just when they're grouped up and about the fire. And I would have constant, especially when you have Lord Chaos over here. Oh, never mind. He had it. He had the, the free uh, supply drop, uh, not supply drops, smoke drops. So I would just keep using recon, wait for him to do this, and stuke a bomb. Anyway, Kajusha's ringing out. Oh my god. So much infantry dying. And armor as well, under harm's way. Just so many. Is the armor going to die? The armor might die here. That's how concerned I am, is the armor is going to die to Katusha fire. Well, pack guns are dead. There's just too much rocket fire now. Um, White Foster's coming down. Infantry's just being cleaned up by the Shermans. Um, Panzerwerfer might die here. It does. Again, a bit too close for comfort. Um, Suka coming on in. Armor should be just fine. Getting away. MG takes a few hits. Oh my god. Yagpons are being flanked by the T-34. Luckily, Panzer IV coming on in to assist. Uh, good mine here. But unfortunately, does hurt the Yagpanzer. But will stop the T-34 if he can micro it and pull it back. Uh, Panzer IV charging it maybe a bit too much. Panzer IV could... Yep, there comes the uh, Shermans. And uh, yeah, unless the Rakan are quick to move, uh, they'll probably be... Oh, Airstrike comes on in. Jesus Christ, there goes the building and the fire's going to hurt the guards. Okay, then. Uh, both armor units survive. So honestly, uh, good kill right there. And Axis still somehow... Managed to hold on to the point. That was a great airstrike. Again, how much is that? 250. Again, takes a little bit of time, but that was a solid hit, uh, nonetheless. Oh my god. Shrek fire just hitting the Oswind along with AT grenades. Again, Vet 3, nothing to sneeze at, and Rifle comes in with a great S85 shot and neutralizes target. All the Katushas are now moving on in. For reference, we have four, uh, we have six, uh, we have nine. We have nine Katushas, and they're just leveling the entire field of battle. My god. Well, the city's now just turned to rubble. Some of the MG survived, I'm unsure how. Oh wait, Captain gonna finish him off? Yep, Captain finished them off. Meanwhile, more rockets coming on in. Shrek teams are pushing up. If this Panzer IV gets... I mean, look, there's enough mines here. I don't think that's a possibility. Again. Oh, wait. Detonated. Oh, wait. Oh, it's right. That's unfortunate. Shrek team is pushing up, though. Might be able to get something. One. All right, one can you down. Eight to go. Good luck. And it's not like uh, Malam and them have tons of resources to get more, so maybe not. Yeah, KV2 is going to blast you, buddy. I hate to... Oh, good smoke. Now run. Now you need to run. Hold on. Panzer IV diving. Uh, they're trying to dive anyway. Actually, that Panzer IV lived, which I'm actually astonished by. Um, really surprised to managed to get, get that guy out of there. So it looks like Katusha was hiding back here and he killed it? Or no, no, it was a supply truck. He killed a supply truck. Stuka coming on in. Oh, he's going to hit the... Oh, so he hit the repair. Oh, he did. He actually hit the repair station. They killed it, though. Um, we're down 12 points. Looks like this may be game over. Um, which is unfortunate because I think... Oh, wait. Nope. KV2 moving in to deal with the Panzer IV.
And yeah, armor's coming on in. No way they have enough to deal with it. Unless he had the AT stuff, it looks like the Katusha's dealt with it. And uh, no, this is uh, probably going to be it. This is probably going to be game. The, I, the game with the ungodly amount of Katushas, which are now going to kill Asnuka. I think he's using the, uh, again, I have to double check, but I think he's using the option to, yep, Creeping Barrage. So yeah, no, uh, solid game. Um, it, okay, for a meme reason, not necessarily for a uh, amazing close game reason. I should also mention that it was the Axis who started the RD War. So again, they deployed, what, four Stukas in the beginning? So that's why I'm not exactly as angry about this whole setup is just because of the fact that it's like okay in this game the axis started spamming stukas they had four of them great job with the partisans and other units for getting behind the enemy lines and dealing with them but you still had to deal with that so the allies and start countering with artillery and then just use an ungodly amount um i do think this game could have been over a lot sooner if turin would have captured territory so he did sort of screw over the allies over the long term because it could have ended badly um but uh as well some solid plays good job holding force though rifle looks like did lose a lot of men and didn't really do all that much although again it's just because he was in force he didn't really fight all that much uh lord chaos kind of moved in other ways though again solid work even though he did die some of his units did get a number of kills so i want to give a shout out to that but yeah no um overall top damage goes to uh, Daddy, which is very weird. Top damage goes to Malam. If I had to guess why Daddy got it, it's because of those guard troops. By God, 31 kills. Plus, again, Katusha's with like 50 plus, no, 60 kills. So, really good work there with some good hits. Uh, Malam as well got a number of good Katusha kills. Um, but yeah, no, overall great work at dealing with the enemy, outplaying them with artillery, and easily some great sabotage work from behind the lines got some uh was a little cocky axis did have a decent counterattack in a certain portion of the game but it wasn't enough they needed to dive in they would have killed all the katushas that would have probably like changed the fundamentals of the game but they didn't do that and unfortunately the katusha mead game succeeded and just annihilated a lot of the german forces though again germans Still was in the mid 40s, so they still had a partial army, although allies were easily in the, what, they were probably in the 70s, so low 70s, but still, uh, good game. But anyway, guys, if you want to submit a meme game or a regrettable replay or a great game, submit to my uh, Gmail or my Discord. All the links are down below. If you want to support the channel, hit that subscribe button or check out my Patreon uh, down below. But it's been Grayshaw17 thanking his amazing patron, in this case, it would be Malam for submitting the replay, and I'll see all of you next time. Hello everyone, this is Grayshop. Before you guys go, I want to give a special shout out to Patreon supporters Joey G240, Afria, Ace, Tony B95, Epic Pleb, Some Tool, and Net Kuba. Thank you all for your support. Thank you all for watching. And seriously, I could not do this without all of you. So thank you so very much. This has been Grayshop17, and I'll see all of you next time.